Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Democracy 3. We're back here playing in Australia. And, um... I, I dare say so far, it's it's actually going well. I'm, I'm almost saying that with a question mark at the end of it. <laughs> uh, let's see, so our GDP is on the rise, even though there's a recession going on. Education is improving, crime is going down, and then health and poverty and unemployment are, at the moment, staying steady. So, yeah, and we have a budget surplus, so go figure that. Uh, let's see. Um, we do have a stress e epidemic, so that's bad. Um, but the uncompetitive economy finally ended. That's good. And people are happy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Happy people. Now, why are they, why am I... Why are these guys not happy? Like, what's your deal? Why are you not happy? Okay, whatever. I'll leave them alone for now. Let's see here. Pollution. What can we do about you, pollution? Uh. Hold on. He causes... Right, the environment. Let's go take a look at that. Still car usage, huh? Telecommuting initiative. We could increase that. Yeah, let's increase that. Yep. There we go. Alcohol abuse. Police force. Let's raise that a bit. And, uh, let's have that be it for this turn, I think. Unemployment down, GDP is up, education is down. Okay. New technological advantage. Hey, great! It looks like our country's leading the world in a number of major areas of science and technology. This is great news for our economy. Hey! But our education is starting to go down. Why? I don't know, but we need to get it turning the other way. State schools. Okay, we'll increase funding for that. Let's not go crazy, though. Just enough to keep it tipping the right way, right? There we go. Extradite terror suspect. Oh. Be responsible for car bombings in their capital city, but only have evidence. They have this is the confessions of other terror suspects. Uh... Yeah, we can't do what? No, I'm not sending one of our citizens off to potentially be executed based on the word of other terror suspects or they only got the information through torture or whatever yeah no we can prosecute him here if they present proper evidence
Uh, serving the government, may wish to leave, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. We could consider dropping taxes. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, see, I have a good... I got a good economic counselor, but a couple of these people are horrible. I don't really want to make a change right now, though. Okay, environment. Real usage. Hmm. Could increase rail subsidies. We not have rail subsidies right now? Oh, we don't. We don't have rail subsidies. Okay. Let's do uh, fuel efficiency standards then. I'll increase car usage. No, I, I don't want no. <coughs> hmm. All right, let's just go to the next. My productivity. Hey, nice. Freedom of information. Budget's in good shape. GDP's good. Education's holding steady. Unemployment's going down. Okay. Why are these people so pissed at us? Seriously. It doesn't really make any sense. Like, socialists and liberals? Socialists don't dislike us. Liberals, eh, okay, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Homelessness, can we do anything about that? State housing. There. Maybe that'll make them happier. Car usage. How about recycling centers? There we go. We'll recycle the hell out of things. Maybe that'll help. Religion has all been wiped from our country, leaving society that believes in science, technology, and evidence rather than faith and religious text. Really? Interesting. Nobel Prize. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Okay, what are you upset about? These are core supporters, trade unionists, and farmers. I may have to just get rid of her.
54% would vote in an election. Okay. Oh, getting 54%. Right, right, right. Ben, bro. Okay, why are you guys mad at me? Why are you mad at me? <laughs> I, I've been doing good stuff for you. Come on now. Here, I'll lower the corporate tax. How about that? That should make you happy. Here, we'll lower it several points, okay? Be a good place to do business. Yeah, I, I've got to address this, though. Alright, reshuffle the cabinet, unfortunately. I didn't have much of a choice here. All right, for the economy. Religious capitalist? No, environmentalist capitalist. Okay, let's hire him. For tax. Conservatives and environmentalists? What's our biggest constituency group right now? Socialist. And they're happy. Okay, so I should probably try to get as many socialists as possible, actually. Here's a socialist. Socialist and liberal. Oh, 1.0, okay. Environmentalist and state employees. For economy, transportation, or law and order. Ah, uh, let's put her in... Let's put her in transport, then? Where's she at again? Yeah, okay. And then for law and order? Do -do -do. Um... Put her... Put who there? Edward Shaw? Conservatives? Trade Unionists? Mm. Farmers? Liberals? That's a good balance. Because the liberals like us, right? Let's double check. Or they're liking us more. Okay. Where was he at? Alright, Zach. Welcome aboard. Public service. Conservative slash environmentalist. Alright, let's grab him. For taxes. I need somebody for... Right, this is for... Oh, for tax. Specifically. This guy's experience is low, but his loyalty's high. Conservatives and trade unionists. Okay, hold on. Trade unionists are okay. Conservatives look like they're okay. Trade unionists. Okay. So he should be alright for that post then. Where's he at again? This guy. Okay, welfare. Youth capitalist? She looks good for the job. Well, I don't know about the capitalist. Well... Let's see. Let's see if there's anyone else. Yeah, for welfare minister. Okay.
capitalists and ethnic minorities, then I might not be bad. Liberal slash parents. Oh, but not for the area we need. Okay. Hmm. So toss up between this guy and this lady. Hmm. 3.9, 3.7, capitalist and ethnic minorities. I think I'm going to go with her, actually. And then foreign affairs. Kind of limited here in the choices, huh? Hmm, okay. And she's the strongest experience-wise, but she's going to bring me, like, no political capital. Still, it might be worth it based on her experience. Hmm. Alright, we'll go with her. GDP down, huh? Internet crime is a problem. Okay. Well, we'll fix that. Yep. Strong supporter of human rights, making landmark rulings in favor of individuals' rights and liberties. Uh, is a household name, thanks for many famous rulings concerning violent crimes. Often outspoken views on harsh sentences she feels should be applied to thieves, muggers, and shoplifters. Okay, let's go to here. Only 20% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Ooh, that... That swap of the cabinet was kind of rough, huh? That's alright. It should bounce back. We just need to... Give it a little bit of time here. Okay, what else... Organized crime feeds the internet crime. Okay, and what else can we do to reduce that? Wiretapping, huh? Hmm, liberals don't like that at all. Okay. About armed. Yeah, they don't like that either, but... Gotta do something. social behavior negatively affecting our tourism as well raise the police force some more all right let's go to the next turn Crime's on the rise, even though we increase the police force. Okay, well, it takes a little time to enact, so... Ban same-sex marriage? Really? <laughs> this again? Uh, no. Government has no place in your bedroom, people. And no, I don't care what your personal stances are. Don't tell me in your comments, I don't care. Actually, I do. It doesn't really bother me, I'm just saying. I don't think government has any place in people's bedrooms. Oh... Um, what will people learn? Democracy doesn't work. <laughs> Homer Simpson. <laughs> uh, again, I love that Churchill quote. 
Democracy is the worst form of government. Shall you consider all the rest? So true. This is a 31% of the vote in an election. Okay. You need to do some stuff that's popular. Yeah. Anything popular? Let's take a look at the... Uh, where's it at? Policies. Here we go. Clean fuel subsidy popularity? Let's raise this. Yeah. Let's do it. Apply. Up. Prisons. Sure. Whew. Pricey, right? See, what else can we do here? Plastic bag tax? Health credits? No, oh, way too pricey. School tax credits? Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's apply that. All right, pirates capture an oil tanker. Fine. Only 15% intend to vote for us. Well, that's kind of going the wrong way, isn't it? Unemployment's down, GDP's down. So I may not get assassinated, but I may not get voted back in office. Well, that's pretty much the typical for me. Asthma epidemic. There's like nothing I can do about this. Really? Hmm. Transportation, rail subsidies. And it's pricey. Wow, it's pricey. And it takes a long time to come into effect, so this is not going to help us a whole lot. I'll go ahead and do it, but it's going to take a long time. Religious plot, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, foreign affairs minister. I already kind of knew she was going to be a problem. Housing prices are rising faster than earnings, mainly due to the shortage of supply. Uh, keep planning restrictions as always. Pressure to build new homes, greenfield sites because, okay, blah, blah, blah. Cheaper. Sudden expansion in the green belt would have dreadful impact on rural communities. Okay, keep planning restrictions then. We still have a good economic flow. That's good. I think we're just going to leave things alone. I've made a lot of changes. Unless there's something simple that we can implement. No, not tariffs. Public services, anything here? Let's take a look at what, what's popular. State housing, school tax credits, police force. I've already done tons of this. Child benefit? It's off capitalist, but makes everyone else happy, huh? State health services? I 
Unemployment's going down. Foreign Affairs, okay. Resigned. Hire a new Foreign Affairs person. Okay, we're gonna hire this guy. Or train you. Oh no, this guy. There we go. Nice. 4.8. I like that. Rail strike, huh? Well, that makes essentially no sense whatsoever. Okay, why are you pissed? Uh, working week? Okay, let's balance it a little more. Failed assassination attempt? Yeah, that's not great. Who's trying to kill me now? Security effectiveness poor, huh? Okay. What can we do right now? Hmm. Technology grants are at maximum. Science funding. Could do some more of that. And what's popular? Prisons. How about we do this? Everybody seems to like that. And again. Crusaders of the Lord! So, there was essentially no religious uh, group in the in the country, right? I get an achievement for that, that there's essentially no religious groups left in the country, but then I get assassinated by a group backed by uh, religious extremists. Alright, well... <laughs> I, 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 at least things went in a more positive direction this time. Uh, I can't believe that uh, we're doing so well in so many areas and then I still get assassinated. I mean, my intelligence services and stuff was pretty high, as was my police force, so I, I don't know. This game is just rigged, people. It's rigged! <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'll give it a go in the next one. Uh, I also saw that on Steam Workshop there's uh, mods and whatnot available, so I might look into some of those, but... Uh, I hope you enjoyed my attempt to lead the people down under to a more prosperous life. And if you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up button 
As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.